So Cetralite is a, a new class of pressure sensor, not just from Cetra, but from anyone in the industry. Right? And what we're doing is providing a very easy to see ring light, LED ring light that lets you know very quickly whether or not your space is within or outside the range of safe, op safe operation that you've specified. Can you tell us a little bit more about what we're seeing with the light ring? What we're seeing is a, an LED light ring that lets us know green is good and red is not good or red is an alarm condition. And what we're, what we're doing with the light product is a visual indicator. There's no audible alarm, but from uh, a visual alarm, we know right away that we are safe or not safe to start a process or start a procedure or let you see from tens of feet away before you have to walk up to within inches or, or maybe a foot to know if something is or isn't uh, safe relative to the operating parameters that you have specified. Jeff, I see a screen on there. Uh, what can that read out to me? Is there a way that my facilities guy can see what the pressure is in the room? Light, like all other Cetra pressure sensors, has an analog signal output. So we can run analog output from light and display it on flex as a room monitor or directly connect light to um, your building automation system, your building management system, um, any sort of networking device you have that can take an analog input. But if I'm curious locally, I can go ahead and just depress the uh, front panel. Whether or not we display numbers um, all the time or, or just upon interaction with the screen is completely up to us. And I can go ahead and navigate through this menu of options and just toggle a check yes, I want to always show it numbers, so I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm just on the display, and if I hold my little check, I can toggle to on. And then we will always be displaying numbers, or, or constantly being displaying numbers. Jeff, in one of the products that I have today, I have to switch out a colored ball to indicate whether we want positive or negative pressure. Is there a quick setting on the Cetra light to indicate whether the room is negative or positive pressure? So Cetra light as a product allows you to have a negative or a positive pressure room. And I'm gonna navigate by continuously hitting this button until I get to my setting right here, and then I'll hold down the uh, third button on the right, and I can specify either negative or positive by toggling these arrows right here. And then I hit my um, check to save it, and then I can go ahead and toggle out of the uh, menu. Jeff, I love the product, but it seems like it might be a nightmare to actually install this. Can you tell me a little bit about installation of the central light? If you can see back here, we actually have a screw hole, so this is easy to install in a uh, single gang box or just use uh, sheetrock screws and directly attach this to the wall. Also, from an installation perspective, one of my pressure pickups is right here on the front panel. And then the other pressure pickup, we can run one of our um, snubbers up through, oftentimes it might be a ceiling tile or maybe just the back end of the wall, depending upon uh, where and how a customer wants to um, uh, install the product. A little bit of flexibility, but very easy to install. Give me three reasons why I'd want to switch from my current indicator to central light. Number one, there's a tremendous amount of labor being saved by actually having a device like this for two reasons. Number one, if I don't want to connect central light to my network and I still want to go ahead and periodically or you know manually check on devices, I can see this from tens of feet away. I don't have to walk up to be within inches of it. So I get, I literally get economies of scale if I still want to do a manual uh, check on different pressures in different spaces. But number two, um, I have an analog output. So I can continuously, immediately, connect this to a network or connect this to a, a Cetra Flex room monitor. And my room monitor will be connected to my building automation system. So I can immediately start to tie this into my real-time monitoring and real-time alarming so that it's not just a visual indicator,
but it's actually part of my building automation system or, or my building management system. Just a tremendous amount of time and money being saved. And the other piece of this, when you think about this, where these will be deployed, there's a lot of um, uh, opportunity for customers to waste time as well as money on expensive compounds, chemicals, mixtures, depending upon what type of operation they run, because they will start a process and basically have to void or, or dispose of the entire uh, uh, compounding they've mixed or compounds they've mixed due to not being within range of a, um, of a specified required pressure. So if I were to install one of these in a hospital room, can it replace my current room pressure monitor in isolation rooms or, or surgical operation rooms? Yeah, so that's a, that's a very good word to ask about. This is a differential pressure sensor. And this sensor will give us visual feedback, you know, green or red. Um, it'll also provide numeric feedback as well. But our monitors, what differentiates our monitors from the room pressure indicator, etc. light, is our monitors can, all, um, can all provide an audible alarm as well as a visual indicator. And this is a visual indicator only, but our monitors will also connect upstream into an environmental monitoring system or, or a building automation system. So our monitors actually serve a different function versus Cetra Light. Tell me a little bit about uh, ongoing maintenance and calibration of this unit. The, there really isn't ongoing maintenance. This is designed for long life, high accuracy. I believe the recommended procedure is power this up, let it settle, maybe it's 15 minutes or 20 minutes, and then you can come in here and just zero out the um, get to the right screen, just zero it out. And that's, that's really a one-time process. If you want to add that as part of an ongoing, regular, standard operating procedure, you can add it as often as you want. But there's there's really no maintenance required to a uh, Cetra Light product. Could you just give us a list of applications where the Cetra Light is a good fit? So far, I've been speaking with folks who operate compounding pharmacies within hospitals or uh, commercial compounding pharmacies. Um, also within hospitals, there's uh, spaces such as linen closets, which are supposed to have monitored and controlled pressure. Uh, the, the, there's a variety of locations today within a typical hospital that use, um, that should be using continuous differential pressure sensing. And this will fit that, uh, you know, fit any location very nicely. But there are probably a few locations where this will become more popular than others. Although at its price point, it will become more mainstream than many of our other high accuracy differential pressure sensors. Are there any certifications that this product can help me, can help me meet? Uh, USP 800 is probably the, the biggest uh, by name that I'm aware of, as all hospital compounding pharmacies are compelled by December 1st of 2019, you know, just a few months away, to continuously monitor pressure in their spaces. So for USP 800, it's Cetra Light with Cetra Flex, I think is a, a great uh, solution for pretty much any pharmacy that we talk to. Cetra Light is the latest in uh, a great legacy of Cetra differential pressure sensors. High accuracy, uh, great data available at your fingertips, easy to set up, easy to operate, easy for an operator to take advantage of the local information, but also easy for uh, an entire organization, maintenance facilities and operators to take advantage of our room monitoring as well.